If you could get just one device to solve all your home networking problems, which one would it be? A, Wi-Fi extenders. B, hardwired ethernet cables to all devices. C, mesh add-ons. Or D, swap your entire house out for fiber. If you guessed any of these choices, you would be wrong. Give me five minutes to explain. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Anton, a power engineer, industrial mechanic, and a Red Seal electrician. We cover all kinds of products and topics in an approachable way for the average everyday person. I'm glad you found us. What is the most frustrating tech that you own? I bet I can guess. It's that sad little plastic box that your ISP, your internet provider, gave you when they set up the internet in your house. It's the one that coughs up internet in your kitchen and gives up completely in the bedroom. Now look, you've done the smart things. You've bought Wi-Fi boosters to help give that sad little ISP provided piece of hardware a chance at being successful. But that just seemed to make your problem even worse. You're dropping Zoom calls, your 4K streaming box is suddenly buffering like crazy, and your cell phone can't ever seem to get a signal. In fact, if we're being honest, you've probably turned off the Wi-Fi on your phone because you found your cell phone provider is more reliable than your home internet. It doesn't make any sense. After all, your Wi-Fi shows full signal. The problem isn't the extender or any of these other devices, it's how it all works. You see, those boosters are just a band-aid. If your signal is weak, plugging in a booster isn't boosting the signal, it's taking that weak, pathetic signal and then making your device think you've got full bars at high service, but really it's still that crappy low signal that's just been turned up. So today we're going to fix all of that with a Wi-Fi 7 enabled router. Yes, those boosters are just a band-aid on a broken leg. But today, we're gonna fix that broken leg. We're gonna update your home Wi-Fi from a dirt road to a multi-lane fiber highway. And it all starts with this beast right here. This is the GLBE 9300 Wi-Fi 7 router. The design is sleek, but the real power is inside. This router is like a freeway with five lanes and it can handle a ton of traffic. In fact, it can handle over a hundred of your devices all at once, from your smart fridge to your gaming PC without skipping a beat. Thanks to its Qualcomm quad-core 1.5 gigahertz processor one gigabyte of RAM, and eight gigabytes of eMMC storage. Take a look at these four foldable antennas. They're not just for show. These help the Flint 3 cover a home of up to 2,000 square feet, making sure that you don't have any more of those frustrating Wi-Fi dead zones within your own home. And if you're a serious gamer or have really high internet, there's four high-speed 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports plus a fifth port that's typically going to be used for your connection to the modem that's provided from your internet provider. Don't confuse your router from your internet provider from the modem. You will still need to use the modem, but this router we're not going to need anymore because this is going to handle all of our internet traffic. Now with the unboxing and the basic specs out of the way, let's hook this thing up and see what it can actually do. If you're tired of watching that spinning wheel of death go round and round while you're waiting for web pages to load and for internet things to happen, then stick around because we're going to talk about the internet crime of half duplex. What Wi-Fi 7 actually is and why the BE9300 Flint 3 is one of the cheapest insurance policies for stress-free internet life in your home. Now let's break down your current nightmare. Your ISP provided router, it's probably fine for basic tasks. If you have one laptop, one cell phone, maybe a camera or two, but it's not really set up for a lot of devices, especially as you start blasting it with a lot of throughput demands 
all at the same time. Add in your favorite streaming services on multiple devices and this thing starts to have a nervous breakdown. It's just not designed to keep up. And don't get me started about range. How many antennas do you see on this thing? I don't see any. Now they do have one or two built up inside here, but they don't have four high gain antennas like this guy over here. And you came here because you're trying to solve internet Wi-Fi problems and you added those Wi-Fi boosters, which you thought would help. After all, when you call your internet provider and said, hey, I don't have enough range, they offered that as a solution to fix the problem. But many people aren't using those properly and that can lead to even more problems. But here's the real secret under the hood. See, those Wi-Fi range extenders are using something called half duplex. And the best way to describe that is, it's like an old school walkie talkie. Men, we got some new equipment, the Fisher Price Sky Talkers. Very rugged. The Fisher Price Sky Talkers, tougher than your kids. It can either transmit data to the other walkie talkie or it can listen from the walkie talkie, but it can't do both at the same time. It's either talking or listening. So what happens? The Wi-Fi extender has to listen to the data from the router and then it repeats that data to your device, your cell phone, your laptop, your streaming device, whatever. It has to listen before it transmits. And then when your device asks for data back, it has to listen and then it has to repeat it. This is half duplex. And it's literally doing just that. It's cutting your bandwidth in half, which leads to further slowdowns and more frustration. And on top of all that, it's often on a separate network name. So you end up from your home network to home EXT, which have a look at your Wi-Fi. If you're using one of those extenders right now, you probably have home.ext. So it doesn't actually handle a seamless handoff as you move from a high network strength area to a low network strength area like a proper Wi-Fi setup would. That dropout that you get mid-call, that's your home network freaking out and not negotiating that handoff. A great router like the BE9300 Flint 3 solves that problem by offering full duplex communication. Solves this by managing the whole network intelligently, often using multiple radios for different jobs, meaning you get full duplex. Now it can send and receive simultaneously, which means there's absolutely no slowdown of the network introduced by your router. It's like having a dedicated multi-lane full speed highway directly communicating with every device on your network. And with core coverage on homes up to 2000 square feet, it means most of us should be fine with just this upgrade alone. Now that we understand the problems, let's understand the solutions. You might currently have Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, or Wi-Fi 6E. This is Wi-Fi 7, also known as 802.11BE. And that's why this is a BE9300. It is a quantum leap in Wi-Fi technology. There are now three different bands, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, you probably know and you're very familiar with. But Wi-Fi 7 introduced a third band, 6 gigahertz. And currently, the 6 gigahertz band is wide open, low interference airspace, perfect for your demanding tasks, especially streaming and multimedia. So this solves your speed and Wi-Fi problems that you're having right now, but it also accepts all of the newer devices that you haven't even added to your network yet. The biggest feature is the increase in capacity. Previous Wi-Fi maxed out channels at 160 megahertz. Wi-Fi 7 on the BE9300 bumps this up to a massive 320 megahertz channel bandwidth. These extra channels are like adding more lanes to a congested highway. You can move more freely and everything on the old lanes also moves more freely. So because you're getting out of the slow lane into your dedicated high speed lane, the slow lane has less cars, less traffic on it, so they move a lot more efficiently as well. And this router supports a tech called 4K QAM. That's a fancy way of saying it crams more data into every single wireless transmission. We're talking speeds up to 9,300 megabits per second combined on this tri-band system. Your 8K stream is safe with a Wi-Fi 7 router. It's kind of like the breath of fresh air when you find a YouTuber that just gives you the goods without all the fluff. Every word is important with high density.
But the true feature that saves you from those device dropouts is called MLO or multi-link operation. MLO allows your device to use multiple bandwidths at the same time. My cell phone, for example, can connect to the six gigahertz band and the five gigahertz band, and it can seamlessly switch to the 2.4 gigahertz band if it needs to. So it can always hop bands and occupy two at the same time, which dramatically increases throughput to that cellular device. Now, all Wi-Fi 7 devices come by default with that MLO enabled already, but sometimes people have turned it off for various reasons. So it's always fired up and ready to go right out of the box. If your device supports MLO technology, this will seamlessly connect up with the router and do all of that magic behind the scenes. You don't have to do anything yourself. So that's key point number two. Wi-Fi 7 with MLO isn't just about faster max speeds, it's about reliable, low latency, stable speed for every single device on the network all of the time. And no, your free router from your internet provider does not do any of that. Now let's look at the hardware inside of the gl.inet Flint 3 router, because it's built different. This isn't just a Wi-Fi 7 radio, it's a network powerhouse. First on the wired side, forget your basic one gigabit wired connection. This supports four 2.5 gigabit wired connections, as well as a fifth that can be used within your network, provided you have a different way to get the internet to your, to your router but most of us are gonna use this blue guy to connect to your modem, leaving us with four high-speed wired connections to our most demanding devices. These run 2.5 times faster than pretty much every router, and especially the one that comes from your internet provider. If you have a NAS, a gaming PC, or a multi-gig internet provider, these 2.5G ports are essential. They'll eliminate the physical bottlenecks and your internal network will fly at speeds faster than ever before. And you don't have to worry about choking up that high-speed internet like you would have been getting with the other router. The brain of this operation is a Qualcomm quad-core 1.5 gigahertz CPU with one gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. Why is that important? Because faster internet isn't just about higher internet speeds, it's about management. And that built-in Qualcomm processor is easily able to manage all of that traffic without giving you any slowdowns. When all 40 of your smart home devices, two streaming, 4K TVs, and your teenager's competitive gaming session all hit the router at once, this CPU handles the traffic like an air traffic controller instead of a confused intern. Now here's the recap. To solve all of those dropouts, you need dedicated power and tri-band flexibility. The BE9300 gives you the six gigahertz band for low latency tasks and the 2.5 gigabit ports for zero lag wired devices. That's a foundation that you can trust and you can start to build a reliable network on. The coverage is also fantastic. The four high gain external antennas can be adjusted to different angles. There's also front end modules inside of here which add more Wi-Fi flexibility. Now GL.inet designed this box to penetrate through walls with greater ease than a lot of those budget boxes that you would get, especially the ones from your internet service provider. And they claim up to 2,000 square feet of coverage, which easily covers most homes that the average person's living in. If your house is bigger than 2,000 square feet, you might have to look at adding more routers or some high-end Wi-Fi extenders. Now let's talk about a huge, often overlooked factor, latency. For gamers or remote workers, latency, the lag between your device and the server, is everything. That means your controller input is instant and your video conference doesn't freeze when someone else loads up a web page. When you're spending good money on great internet, the router should deliver full potential. And that's exactly what this does. Now speed is great, but control and security is very important. And GL.inet is famous for running on open WRT firmware. For the average user, this means a clean, easy to use interface that's highly customizable and constantly updated for security. It also comes with AdGuard Home, with AdGuard Home pre-installed. That's network-wide ad blocking and anti-tracking for every device in your home, automatically. 
no software required. And for privacy enthusiasts or remote workers, this router handles VPNs like a champ. It supports both WireGuard and OpenVPN, achieving speeds up to 680 megabits per second, even when encrypted. That's enterprise grade security on a home router. If you're a parent, then the parental controls are straightforward, allowing you to filter content and set screen limits, giving you control over the chaos of a busy home network. Look, if you're still using your ISP provided router, you're not getting your money's worth. Boosters are a half measure. What you need is a true network foundation, something reliable, robust, high speed that you can build your entire network backbone on. The GLBE9300, also known as the Flint 3, provides that 7 with Wi-Fi 7, MLO stability, and the 2.5 gigabit wired connections. Now, if you're interested in one of these devices, I will put a link in the description to the one that we got, so you can get one just like it. There are other Wi-Fi 7 routers, but be careful. I have found some are using the sloppy standards of Wi-Fi 7 to kind of give you something that technically is Wi-Fi 7, but it is not the same as what we just reviewed here today. So there are some cheaper products out there, but they don't meet all of the same specs like this guy does. So when you're looking for price to performance, this is actually a really good value. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.